Welcome back. The Holman George family is synonymous with the Indianapolis Motor Speedway and the Indy 500. They managed both for nearly 75 years. Now the estate of Mary Holman George is auctioning off a large collection of antiques, including many with ties to auto racing. Joining me live from Terre Haute this morning, where the auction will be held on Friday and Saturday, is the estate executor, Bill Metzger. Bill, good morning to you. Good morning. Thanks for having us. You're welcome. You've been working on this auction for more than two years now. How many items are we talking about? We are talking about thousands of items, whether it's uh, racing memorabilia, furniture, jewelry, collectibles, uh, advertising uh, from Holman and Company, uh, d just a very large collection. We're taking a look at a picture right now of the space and some of the boxes, but we want, you're actually going to show us some of these things. Walk us around slowly and kind of pick out a few things that folks will be able to see there. Okay, I'll, I'll try to do that here with my uh, computer. And um, we'll stop at a few things here yep. and try to zero in on them. As you can see, um, this building at the Vigo County Fairgrounds okay. is full. and. I think this building is probably a quarter of a mile long. Uh, we have, and if you can see this here, there's a uh, collection of fishing tackle. Okay. Um, Tony Holman was a uh, a tournament uh, fisherman and traveled all over the world uh, in tuna tournaments, and he was well known for that. So we have uh, another item here, uh, a sterling silver dog. Yeah. And... Um, that's, an that Mary. that's one of the unusual items that's there. And the Holman family was also about more than IndyCar. They owned the popular Clabber Girl baking brand, among other things as well. Correct, correct. And we're going to go down to that end of the building and uh, look at some of those items. And I'll try to go there rather quickly. But you can just see some of the items that we have. Um, Mary was a... Uh, a lover of dogs and right. horses. So we have many things that uh, just showed her love of uh, animals. And of course, the family's been connected with racing. Right. So the things that we have here um, are from Mary, but also from her parents, Tony Holman and Mary. And okay, it sounds nerd, like we're losing you a bit, so you may want to slow down a bit and go, go back. Anyways. What do okay. people what do people need Thank to know you. about the auction? You. Because your picture is starting and, uh, to uh, stop a bit. All right, okay. it's, it's, it sounds like we we lost Bill, but again, this is taking place in Vigo County at the fairgrounds, and you can see it's an auction that includes thousands of Mary Holman George uh, items. It's her estate auction and it's taking place on June 11th and 12th there at the fairgrounds in Terre Haute. Doors open at 8 a.m. Auction starts at 10 a.m. and preview days uh, on sale only. So uh, just an incredible lot of stuff, Jim, for C. And for more information on the auction and a closer look at the photo gallery, you can head to our website. It's fox59.com slash links.